September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Hey Froggy friends, Kiro Style here, and welcome to Faith, the Unholy Trinity. Welcome, welcome, thank you so much for coming by the stream, hey everyone. Psycho Reaper and CP, congratulations on being first, welcome, welcome. And uh, Hakase, welcome to the stream. Ditsuno, it's good to see you. Key, thank you so much for coming by. <laughs> Hope you guys are all doing great today. So we are playing this game, Faith, the Unholy Trinity. And this is a retro-themed horror game, as you can tell by the graphics. It's supposed to be, like, a game from the 1980s. And Faith actually came out in three installments. So Faith Chapter 1 came out in 2017. Faith Chapter 2 came out in 2019. And Faith Chapter 3 came out in 2022. And then they were compiled together into Faith the Unholy Trinity, which features all three. So, I've watched someone play chapters 1 and 2, I believe, not 3, but to be honest, I don't really remember that much about it, other than I know what the aesthetic of the game is. So, I thought this would be a neat horror game to play, just because, again, I like playing horror games that are a little bit different, a little bit uh, unusual, or have some interesting, interesting story or interesting gameplay or interesting style. So, as you can tell, this game does have style. We're all about that. Hey Lork, welcome to the stream! Thank you so much for stopping by, it's good to see you! So, in this story you play as a priest who's like an exorcist, and you have to go and exorcise these demons. Alright, so here's our, here's our title screen. Okay, let's begin. Oh, I could choose. Wait, chapter 1, Chapter 2, Marathon Mode? What's this? Okay, well, we'll start with Chapter 1. Hey, Sutton Pennington! Welcome to the stream, thanks for coming by! Chapter 1. So many menus. Wait, flashlight Mode, Lantern Mode, Turbo, Confirm. Well, I'm just gonna go with whatever's default. Is there a Latin language setting? <laughs> That'd be so funny. Okay, so I move around. I have a controller plugged in. Okay, there's my... X key is take out your cross. Okay. Also, let me know if the volume's okay. I was playing around with it earlier, but I didn't want it to be too loud, but I also didn't want it to be too quiet. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Okay, sweet, there is a start. Notes, options, quit, exit. Well, that doesn't. Oh, oh, there's a little mini map, okay. Hey, Yule, welcome to the stream, thanks for coming by. Oh, at first you thought I could read the Latin until you're realizing it was translating. I did take a little bit of a course um, in university. It's like. It's like. Uh, oh, gosh! Go away! Oh my god, I'm talking here. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, in university I took a course that's like, medical terms Latin, where it's like, you go over common Latin words used in medical terms. I mean, I don't remember much about it, but, uh, it was useful at the time for science. Yeah, I love how you can see the little priest collar, it's just a little white dot. 
You took two semesters of Latin in college and you regret every second of it. Yeah, go away crab walking, man. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, there's a well. Yeah, this game has a lot of- well, not a lot of it. It has a couple uh, classical music tracks in it. So that's probably why you recognize it. Oh, cool, there was something in that well. Sweet. You're invited! Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday! Jason! Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions, turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. Yeah, dang it, we missed the birthday party. Okay, so I, I found the well. I should probably go find that other thing too, eh? I want to try not to have to backtrack too much. Oh, go away! What? That was no fair! You just Mortis. came out of me out of nowhere! Mortis. He... He literally got me just out of nowhere. That was pretty funny. Hey, Relix, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, well, fine, if you're gonna play it that way, game. Can't believe this. I thought that he would come running at me at least from the- He would have the decency to at least come at me from the opposite side of the map. Yeah, we died from the crab walking man. Oh, I didn't read that. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree. It looks like it's dying. All the needless are all the needles are falling back off it, and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good she found something she's passionate about, but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Hey Sophie, Felix, welcome to the stream. Yeah, the devil should be fair when he's hunting people down, come on. Also, I can't move when I pull my cross out, so I can't just hold it out whenever. Okay, we got the tree, though. This kind of reminds me of, like... Here, I'm gonna pause while I talk, just so that doesn't happen again. But, there was that old, like, SNES game. It was, like, a skiing game. And you just, like, ski down the slope, and you dodge, like, obstacles. You try to get a high score, but there was like a Yeti in that game, and the Yeti would just come at you out of nowhere, and he was like impossibly fast, you couldn't outrun him, and he just comes out of nowhere and just kills you. And it was like a random occurrence or something like that. Like, that's what this reminds me of. It just comes out of nowhere, and it's just like, BAM! <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about, the Yeti. Oh! I actually had to point my cross in his direction. I thought I could just hold it out. <laughs> I thought I could just hold it out. Well, here we go. This is gonna be this is gonna be fun. I need to be more aware <laughs> of my surroundings. I was just like, oh, I'll just pull out my cross. Easy. You can't get me now. Mortis. I can't believe we got Mortis so early. No, no you don't. No you don't. No you don't. Ha! 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 Idiot! Ha! I have a cross, idiot. Yeah, I got that perfect parry this time. See, I, I, I gotta be really wary when I'm on the edge of the screen, because when I'm on the edge, if he comes at me from the edge, I have no time to react. The power of Christ compels you. Nope, nope. That's what you get, crab walking man. Okay, so the house is just north and east of here. What's this? Oh, 
Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Yeah, these people need a driveway. Okay. I don't know if I'm going the right direction. Let's just keep going towards this house. Aha! Oh, I saw that! He was in the window! Get out of here! Get out of here. The Martins' house lies about 100 yards off Snake Meadow Hill Road. There's almost no driveway. What do you mean, almost no driveway? There is no driveway. <laughs> Trees jut out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. Hey Chewy, welcome to the stream! Thanks for coming by, it's good to see you! Hope you're doing well today. Yeah, you shall not pass walking crab man. I'm just gonna keep calling him that. Hopefully I don't die on my way to the house. Oh, I- you- Where is he? Okay. I guess if he changed screens fast enough, he just doesn't follow you. Come at me, bro. I have a cross. What's that? Why does this place and the music make me think of, like, Lavender Town? <laughs> me and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It's hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. I have the power of God in anime on my side. I hope so. What's up with this family portrait? Ah! He looks so happy. Hey, Dino Jacket, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for following me and being a froggy friend. You feel like you're at a small locally owned pizza place in here? This? This looks like a small locally owned pizza place to you? Are these types of places you frequent? Should I just go up to everything and hold my cross out just in case? I mean, I feel like the colored things are the the major indicators, right? I can exercise every item in this house. Yeah, the purple child was the least unusual thing about the painting. This place would be at a pizza place. Hey, it's, it's Freddy's. We're at Five Nights at Freddy's. There's something in the mirror behind me! Back away! There's something behind me! Is it Lisa? Lisa, get out of here! Hello? The fact there's no music in here is also a little concerning. And who has a master bedroom on the main floor right next to the entrance? The uh, house layout here is the most concerning thing about this place. You think that's a shadow? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Is there like a save function too? Like just in case I die? Nope. 
Maybe there's like an autosave that I don't know about. I'm pretty sure I've seen people just restart from other points in the game. Like, resume notes options. Wait, options. No. Quit. Exit. Okay. Aya. 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 All clear. Yeah. Take that refrigerator ghost. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice drawing, Nate. Can I check their fridge for food? So at the beginning of the game, he said that he's he's coming back to finish the job. So he's coming back here after the first trip. That's how we're finding notes about it. That's why there's no one here, apparently. I can't get out the door. Should I be exercising this... ...pizza thing? <laughs> I'm gonna check upstairs before I check downstairs, because I know there's something downstairs. Uh, actually, I think there's something upstairs. <laughs> I'm gonna avoid the blood trail first. Why why'd all the music stop? This is so disconcerting. Do I have to exercise every one of these toys? They're not gonna jump out and attack me, are they? We're not gonna have like a Luigi's Mansion situation on our hands, right? Look at Etch a Sketch. I had one of those. I also had one of these, like, phone guys. They, they were in Toy Story. Oh, oh, is Kieran gonna raid me? Is that why you put that in the chat? Kieran, welcome to the stream! Thank you so much for the raid. Hey, everyone, it's good to see you. Did you have a good time with Kieran? Please go check out Kieran, he's one of my best friends. He's an amazing streamer, and he's also a singer, he's a professional voice actor, He's amazing. He's an artist. He can do everything. And he's such a positive guy. You're going to enjoy it when you go check out his streams. Please go check out Kieran. Yeah, he was building a desk earlier today. How'd that go? Was it fun? Did you get your desk all set up? Yo, you got caught off guard when you heard my voice double up because you had both streams open. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for entrusting me with your audience. If you guys don't know me, I'm Kiro, the frog-themed martial artist. We're playing Faith, the Unholy Trinity, which is a retro-style horror game uh, where we play as an exorcist. Well, that's good. You're ready to decorate your desk? Awesome, awesome. I know you're super excited about your desk, so I'm really glad that you got it all set up. Thank you, thank you. Feel free to stick around and relax or go and take care of yourself after your stream, because you deserve it. Uh, you did two streams today with your Ace Attorney and your desk building, so you must be tired. Thank you, thank you for coming by, and welcome, everyone. Go check out Kieran. Okay. Yeah. Oh, take that toy ghost. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask An Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Nothing's gonna jump out at me, right? Oh. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our, our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and other instances she spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Okay. Is 
This is a very large bathroom. Look at all the empty space in the middle of the room. Be gone, bathroom demon. Rubber ducky demon. I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I just don't know why. She doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Hey, Bubbles! Welcome to the stream! Thanks for stopping by! It's good to see you! This is one of your favorite horror games? I really like the style of this game. And it's been so long since I watched someone play it, I don't remember much. You love Kiro thinking every inanimate object is possessed? I mean, I know it's the colored objects, but it's kind of fun to just go around and hold it. <laughs> just to see if there's any, like, secrets or something. Okay, I guess now we should check out the bloody room. Actually, did I exercise this plant? Let's exercise this plant. There, your plant is blessed now. I can't open this door. Everything is possessed if you think about it. No, you will not elaborate. <laughs> That reminds me of like a- here, I'll pause again so I don't get killed while I'm talking again. Uh, this Tumblr post where someone had, like, their brother was training to be a priest. So they asked their brother, like, what is the blessing range of a single priest? And they're like, oh, well, they can bless, like, you know, like a- like a, any water that they come across. And then I think their question was like, so could a priest bless the entire ocean? So what's the blessing range of the priest? If the, if the priest blesses the ocean, is there a range? How do we tell where the water goes? and or, do, or does the whole ocean get blessed? Or does that just bless, like, all the water that's connected to that ocean? And then, like, I think the brother had to think about it, and he asked, like, a senior priest to, like, elaborate. And I think the conclusion they came to was that, like, a priest would not bless the ocean because, like, people use that ocean, people swim in it, you know, animals swim in it defecate in it and it just wouldn't be morally right to bless it so then no priest would actually go and bless the entire ocean i think that was the conclusion was that the question was basically invalid but it was just like just the the funny way they worded it. What, what's the blessing range of, of a priest kind of funny okay let's go in the basement I see blood. Yeah. Can't get through these boxes. What are these? Ha! That thing wasn't colored. I mean, it's colored orange, but... Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked, What's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary? The area we're working in has a lot of folks who practice Kimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Well, this is a long note. Yesterday, we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed. He said, no, but I prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house. And according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Professor Layton. Thanks, Professor Layton. Should I be, like, exercising these spiderwebs in the corner too? You think the range is dependent on the cross you have equipped, so a Roman one would give plus 2 damage to demons, while a standard Catholic one gives you plus 15% more range, so feel free to experiment. <laughs> Thank you, CV, I will trust your expert knowledge.
Is there a monster in the machine? Uh, I don't trust this. Yeah. I'm not letting you get the jump on me this time. Crab walking man. Not even the sewing machine. Just use the holy hand grenade. On the count of three. Not one. Not two. Four? You've gone too far. Oh. I'm gonna go get that note first. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceeding of the rite for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! Mother! the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything going down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. How recently were these candles lit? A Christian cross deals double damage to necromancers. Better watch out, Psycho Reaver. Oh. Uh, hi! Sadako, is that you? How do I get here? Here she comes. I got an achievement, so here she comes. Hey Ash, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming by. We can't prove it unless we try it out on Psycho Reaper. Where are you, Amy? Take that! Know the phrase Mortis? We've already been Mortised. Don't you worry. Take that, Amy! Hey, Sophilix, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm gonna need the power of Kirby. Kirby's the bestest frog around and super strong. He could defeat anything. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna we're also gonna exercise Psycho Reaper while we're here. Oh, did you try summoning Kirby and it didn't work? I was having trouble with my redeems earlier today. And I couldn't make it work, and I think there's something wrong with the server that I use for... Or like, the collective server the program uses, because I couldn't... Get it. Did you redeem it? I don't see... Oh, here it is. I'll just do it manually. Uh... What is it in this one? There we go. Exercising more like gaslighting? What are you talking about, uh, Psycho Reaper? What are you talking about? Yeah, so if you guys redeem any of the, the things that affect my model, they might... You might have to remind me. I'm coming for you. I heard that door open upstairs. Yeah, I love I love the voices. <laughs> Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. When they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. 
She, my superior father, with when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. This dummy looks like it has a face on it, because the, the blood has, like, a face on it. What's going on? Stop it. Stop spinning. It's not very Catholic of you. Hi, Amy. My God, what happened to you? Do you see my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She died, priest. Yeah. I think a closer. Oh, hi. Get away from me. No! I got morded. Okay, oh good, it sends me here. Okay, good, it sends me here. Hey, Kamakan, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. What? More <laughs> What? I got morded again. You're gonna be hearing that word a lot today. <laughs> okay, so however I fight her is oh. Wait, but I <laughs> But I was But I was I found her. She was flashing red. <laughs> Why did she just come out of nowhere and hit you? I'll try a couple more times before I... See, like, I got her flashing red, and then... Okay, I was able to... I was able to turn around that time, so maybe I'm supposed to just quickly 180, like, no-scope her? Watch out, she's gonna more. I like the part where she said it's morbid time and she morbed all over the place. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Turn around! What? <laughs> okay, quickly turning around does not do anything. <laughs> what am I supposed to do this? Okay, a couple more tries, a couple more tries. Like I, she, she, she's flashing red. Okay, we're gonna try a new strategy. We're gonna try a new strategy. Run the hell away! Nope, that doesn't work. Oh, wait, does it mean that I? Does it mean that she's gonna come from that side? I, I I knew she was coming out from that side, and I. <laughs> and she, okay, the cross does not work on her there. Let's leave. Ah uh, yeah, and then okay. flashing, 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 flashing. Oh, 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 oh! How do you like that, girly? How do you like that, girly? Okay, I know what to do now. I know what to do. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like it's like a bull. Ole. <laughs> okay, so Oh. 
Oh! Ah! I juked you! Ooh. It doesn't look like I should be able to dodge Earth, because it's like, it's literally just pixels across from each other. Oh, oh, that was so close! That was so close! Ah. Oh, 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 that was really close! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Just die already. Ah. Oh. How long do I have to do this for? Ah. Oh. Ah! Uh, I can't keep this up forever! Oh, that's lovely. What? What the? What the? More days. <laughs> she just teleported me and was like, nothing personal, kid. <laughs> oh, oh, she's running on the star. Ha! Huh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, she starts at that corner. Remember that. She starts in the corner. Okay, out of the corner. Hiya! Oh. How am I gonna dodge her when she like boomerangs things at me? Hiya! Oh my god, that was really close, she almost hit me. Okay, she does like a circle around herself. She does like a circle AoE. Oh, actually, I, I don't want to get close on that one. Yeah, I think she, she's just going around the star. Okay, okay. I just gotta predict where she goes. Oh, that's not- that's not right, that's not right. Oh, oh, okay, oh, oh, I almost got hit by that one. I did it! Now go back- go back inside, red hand. Be gone! I did it, I did it. Yeah, it's like Monster Hunter, I'm learning her attack patterns. Time to go home. Everything's fine now. Yeah, there's like a the floppy disk in the corner for the autosave, thank goodness. Didn't save me from my first two deaths, but... Everything's fine. Oh no, I'm on the second floor. Oh. Yeah, sorry, the stre- the redeem- the... 
the animation redeems aren't working today for some reason. I think there's something wrong with VTS React. Uh, there we go. Thank you for the stretch. The redeems got possessed. Kill her. <laughs> Thank you for the chaos. Uh, there's a gun lying on the floor. I feel like that's probably more effective against demons. Or is there like a pacifist thing? I don't feel right about using a gun here in this game. I feel like it's a... What if I just don't? I know there's like a couple different endings to this game. We'll try pacifist. Come get me now, crab man. Pretty sure this wasn't here last time I came through the forest. Oh. My cross was ineffective against Crab Man. He learned how to dodge the cross. Okay, I guess I do need the gun then. A gun with one bullet. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Look at him hold it. Look at him hold it. Looks like he's just smoking a giant cigar or something. Okay, that means the crab man's not gonna come get me until I am at my car, right? I know he's coming. A giant enemy crab. Come on, come and get me. If I die to him again, I have to walk all the way back. I'm ready this time, I'm ready this time. <laughs> that that, that kind of looks really comical. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble, he will deliver me and honor me. Yeah. I to be can fair, explain oh. what happened at that Fine, house. keep talking. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. He said the thing! <laughs> to be fair, yeah, I didn't do... I didn't do the killing blow. So, I'm absolved of the sin, right? Ending 5 of 5. Could you imagine the trucker just like... Driving, hits that thing and then just kind of... Uh, whatever, it keeps going. <laughs> yeah, it was... He was like... He was like... <laughs> Police animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. 
Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the rem remains told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owner, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attack attached to the investigation would not speculate about what, a bit, what kind of animal had been found, although they commented the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, or a vitamin a D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Interesting. Was it Amy's body? New background unlocked, new chapter mode unlocked. Gary loves you. Oh, the truck also said Airdorf on it, didn't it? Okay, so that was chapter one. Now, again, chapter one, two, and three were re released years apart from each other. So I'd remember chapter one was shorter than the others, but I don't remember how long chapter 2 and 3 are. I'm pretty sure chapter 3 is longer. Chapter 2, I actually don't remember. Actually, I, I think I only watched someone play chapter 1 and 2 before, and I don't remember much about it, so... Let's go on to chapter 2.